On the 10th of August, which is a couple of days away from when I'm filming, editing and uploading this video, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 will be announced. I must say I'm not too expectant of any major differences this time around because I believe the Z Flip 3 and the Z Fold 4 were kind of peak foldable devices. But hey, I know what Samsung is capable of and they could surprise us. Amongst that, we might be seeing some other accessories, but that's not the main topic of today's video. So in today's video, you will just be seeing myself and a couple of friends of mine sharing our expectations on what we are looking out for when the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Z Flip 4 is announced. But before then, let's move back a bit to take a look at the third generation Z Fold and Z Flip series that came out last year. They weren't bad devices, although the Z Flip 3 had its downside, which was the battery life. It was quite understandable because of course the Z Flip 3's form factor wouldn't allow it to have a very big battery in there but it has other sides to compensate for the battery downside. On the other hand the Z Fold 3 was a complete masterpiece. It had everything you're looking for in an ultimate smartphone. My personal expectation is that this time around the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 comes with an inbuilt S Pen in a way that we wouldn't have to purchase the S Pen separately because it sounds like an Apple move to me if you ask me. Let's hear what my other tech YouTuber friends have to say about the expectations on the fourth generation of the Z Flip and Z Fold. All right, so Dopey, I think Samsung has really done a good job with the fold devices which is the z flip and then the z fold i think they've, they've spearheaded that technology the folding device technology but again we've seen three generations of them and they work and they say if it's in, if it ain't broke don't fix it but this i'm getting a little tired of the 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 same thing just iterative bumps and so this time i hope to see something that they push towards the boundary i hope I hope they they experiment something. I don't know. I just I don't want to see the same thing over and over again. If you know what I mean. So yes, that's why I hope the Z Flip and the Z Fold does this time around. Thank you for having me. Hi. You know the funny part is I've tried to avoid leaks or anything that would give me an idea of what the Z Flip and Z Fold may look like. But who was I kidding? I followed all the news and definitely there are going to be some changes. These are the ones I'm most excited about. A less noticeable crease because nobody likes the crease. So that's a good thing. The rear cameras on the Z Fold 4 being similar to those on the S22 Ultra. Hopefully that happens because the S22 Ultra has great cameras so I can expect the same for the Z Fold 4. And lastly, a bigger exterior screen for the Z Flip 4. You know, we'll bend the phone in a certain angle and take better selfies now with the rear cameras as we can see ourselves bigger on this probably bigger exterior screen. Hopefully everything I've said happens. What are my expectations? All right, let's start with the fold. I think the fold is kind of good. Like the build and the design is already perfect. I don't know how they're going to perfect it, except for the fact that maybe they can probably help reduce the crease a little bit in the middle. And oh yeah, the camera that is found under the display on the main display, it's cool, but I don't know. Selfies and video calls don't look the best under that display. I hope Samsung has kind of like mastered the technology so now the pictures and videos will look cool because on the full 3 it's not really the best looking for the flip i think the flip is already good maybe they should make the display on the outer a little bit better so you can do more from that end but all in all i'm not expecting so much changes when it comes to the physical looks i think they are really well built maybe the phone should have a maybe harder screen i don't know how they're going to do that because the screen is still going to bend so until that technology is mastered that's probably what i'm going to wish for so thank you for having me on delpy peace okay so i haven't really put in a lot of thoughts in it and also i've been staying away very very far away from leaks and rumors about this unpacking next generation foldables and stuff but what i'm expecting to see or what i would want to see is the fact that samsung would have like a place where you can insert your s pen if you, you have an s pen for your foldable like the way you can just insert your s pen into your galaxy s22 ultra or the note series without having to buy an extra pouch to carry it or some magnetic something that you can just attach it to the phone and also i i'm expecting or i wish for a better battery life maybe a bigger battery or better battery optimization or something on, on those lines or in those lines yeah that is one and then also a better overall front facing camera when the phone is in tablet mode the inside or under screen camera i would want to see these things improved or these are my patients 
And also, thanks for having me. Oh, hey, they're done. Okay, so that should sum it up for what you're expecting. Let me know in the comment section about what you expect for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 or the Z Flip 4. I want to add that everyone you saw in this video has a YouTube channel. I'll leave their links in the description. You can follow them up. They produce very high quality content. And most of us will be at the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event this Thursday, which is on the 10th of August. So do make sure to stay tuned. We'll be coming your way with updates on what will be happening. We will be going live on both TikTok and Instagram as well to show you how the event would look like. And after that, some updates and possibly a review for the Z Fold and the Z Flip 4. I'm Delpy, and as always, I'll see you in another one. Stay safe and don't forget to stay frosty.